You know what's funny? As soon as I think I'm done with a certain subject, I go over to GQ, I'm scrolling down Hypebeast, and they're trying to push summer trends like this one. They're saying this is a summer trend. What? Anyway, before I even get started, let me just start by saying this. Wear whatever you want. Personal style is exactly how it sounds. It's personal. So in this video, I picked out five different things that all these big platforms are trying to tell us to wear that I think guys should never wear. Ooh, I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's that ugly style. The first thing on this list is socks and sandals. Yeah, you heard me. Now I'm not talking about a leisure day where you're just chilling, going to the grocery store, running errands, like not really caring. I'm talking about when you're actually trying to look nice somewhere, socks with sandals in the summer is a no-no. But for some reason, the blogs are saying it, I'm seeing guys in fashion week wearing them all on the runway. Like, I don't know what's going on with that, but it seems counterproductive for the summertime. In my opinion, you have two options here. Either get some proper sandals and get your feet together, like moisturize them, clip your toenails, and expand expose those feet. Otherwise, wear shoes. It's really simple. Number two was actually inspired by a question that I got from one of y'all after my last video on what you should avoid during the summer. If you haven't seen that video, have a little card come out and I'll put it down below in the description. But basically this guy was like, look, I'm serious. Can I wear cargo shorts in the summertime? Yes, you can, but my recommendation is that you don't. I think it was really hot like early 2000s when Abercrombie and Fitch was running the game and then kind of had a little bit of a resurgence in 2013, but having seen any cargo shorts now that are actually dope and they kind of just take away from your overall silhouette they're very bulky around the pockets but if you're a guy that's like yo i need more pockets i need more room to put stuff there are so many different options of bags for you you can go backpack you can go duffel you could do one of those like new trendy sling bags that people are wearing like there's so many options here rather than messing up your overall silhouette and the only other exception is when it comes to swim trunks because obviously if you're walking to the beach or something you need to be able to put your phone in there or something before you put your stuff down it has a functional purpose to it so that's all good in my opinion but overall cargo shorts don't do it another thing that guys should never wear in the summer or anyone for that matter is clashing patterns there's a big difference between mixing patterns and clashing patterns here's an example of a coordinated pattern mix right these guys are matching in color there's like certain balance of weight here size of pattern all these things are kind of going together on top of the fact that these guys are all really confident in what they're wearing now here's an example of pattern clashing the patterns don't correlate at all it's not really balanced there's too many different colors and things grabbing for your attention and it lacks balance overall so if you're a fashion guy and you can pull this off then go for it but if you're not sure about it i would definitely educate yourself on it if you're really up for the challenge otherwise i leave it alone altogether. before i get to these final two if you're still watching this video but you haven't subbed to my channel yet i strongly suggest you do here i talk about men's fashion grooming how to present yourself better how to have more confidence on the other side of my channel, I teach you how to present yourself better online. Everything from how to create better content, to how to be more successful on social media, and even how to take better outfit photos. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and every time I post a video, you'll be notified. Next up on this list is overly distressed denim. Keyword, overly. Now reasonably distressed denim has a few rips in it, maybe a couple tears, some abrasions, maybe even a knee hole or two and it adds a lot of great character to your jeans. However, this extreme stuff with the guys with like the big gaping holes in the thighs, in the knees, in the ankles, like you just got attacked by a bunch of rabid dogs, that is over the top. And hey, you might really like your legs and really wanna show them off, and if that's the case, then just wear shorts. Give the people what they wanna see, man, or what you want them to see. And while we're on the subject of shorts, that leads me to my last one, wearing the wrong socks and shorts together. Now, if your feet don't ever really get sweaty, then you don't have to worry about wearing socks at all. But for the rest of us guys, we got about two choices. One is a no-show sock. That is exactly how it sounds. It does not show when you put it on with your sneaker. Or you can go with more of a skater look and get the calf height socks. They might have a couple stripes in them, some subtle branding, and you're good to go. But those little ankle socks that like stick above the shoe just a little bit and peek out, those reek of like middle school gym class. You do not want to wear those, trust me. Well, that's all I really got for y'all in this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give your guy a thumbs up. If you have any feedback, any video requests, leave them in the comments. And if you haven't subbed to this channel yet, make sure you make that happen. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.